These are the breathtaking landscapes of Cameroon. Covered by blankets of lush green vegetation, and with it comes a joy and hope for the communities living here. All of it is made possible by the Community Forest Enterprises, CFEs. They are the ones responsible for the sustainable management of various community forests here in Cameroon. But they have not always been this functional. Cameroon had almost 400 community forests occupying 2 million hectares of forest, but only 9% of these forests were in any form of activity. The aspect of adding value to the, to the forest was missing. And one of the reasons for that was that they did not have finances and they did not have the enterprise you know, uh, uh, know-how um, and, and, and the incentive to actually carry out enterprise. Community forests have been quite largely abandoned in the past because they are given to communities who do not have the capacity and also the forests themselves are really poor because they are mostly secondary forests. The, a great part of the populations in the rural areas are almost fully dependent on forests for their livelihoods. So we felt that uh, enterprise was going to be one of the main ways of incentivizing them to innovate and to kickstart that process. In the financing, we, there was a lot of risks. The communities had very little experience in enterprises, in accounting procedures, for example, and also in governance. There were lots of governance challenges. So what we felt was we needed to use public finance to kickstart a process that will de-risk them, but also give them the know-how and help them to develop the models that are required for them to be able to access private finance. As the conditions of the CFEs continued to deteriorate, so did the community forest environment, and consequently, the people who depend on it for income. Something had to be done to prevent the worst from happening. We came up with the Dryad project because we wanted to kickstart enterprises, we wanted to re-kickstart and innovate to give community forests in Cameroon a new lease of life. So we came in to try and provide some public finance and test whether a performance-based financing model could help the communities overcome the, uh, this inertia of activities, but also it was an attempt globally uh, to help communities also practically benefit from, from forests, uh, from an economic point of view, from a social point of view, but also help protect forests from a, a, a conservation point of view. ICRAF's mission is uh, to harness the potential of trees to make farming and livelihoods more sustainable and environmentally friendly. So um, the Dryad project um, actually taking community forest as a tool for sustainable forest management by devolving responsibility to communities and allowing them to generate economic and social benefits actually fits very well into that mandate. We went into Cameroon because there was a structure and there was a legal framework and there was some sort of experience uh, in attempting to manage community forest as a community. Au départ, nous ne savions pas nous mettre ensemble pour faire une ou plusieurs choses. Le projet de Réal nous a appris beaucoup. Les méthodes de culture et, et la, la manière de vivre avec les autres, 
nous parvenons aussi maintenant à nous mettre ensemble pour réaliser une ou plusieurs choses. Et c'est une grande... With all of these, you know, sets of enterprises, um, the communities have an opportunity to have different impact pathways. And so we, we sort of try to build on these enterprises with the understanding that they will help to add value to the community forest, but also help them to generate income and generate employment almost immediately with the finances that we will be injecting. And in the project we were targeting having 30 viable enterprises um, by the end of the project. So we designed a system to monitor all of these indicators. And this was the unique thing about the system because we built in on handheld devices a software and agreed on how they would collect data on these indicators and logging into the system and that, that data that they put into the system in the rural areas would automatically feed into our servers via the local telephone networks. So once they put in the data, we are able to see real time. And that allowed us, from a, a management point of view, to see, so they were required from a, an enterprise point of view to enter all transactions into that system, including all receipts, all documentation, they will capture that and feed into that system and we are able to see it, right? And, and we are able to tell whether they are meeting these targets or not. I think it was an efficient and cost-friendly uh, strategy because it permits us to simultaneously review the performance of 34 community forests at the same time. It is more expensive to always go on the field to evaluate these enterprises. With data sent, we can easily see how much the enterprise is spending, how much the enterprise is getting as revenue. If the strategy they are applying is not uh, business efficient, I will give them advice on how to improve. This was not an easy process, of course. It needed the system, it needed equipment, it needed consensus with the communities because what is being monitored is what tells us how good the forests are getting improved over time through this investment and also how the livelihood of these communities is actually improving, including the governance aspects. So Dryad really pulled these new lessons, new ideas into scientific materials that we put together as a special issue with eight technical papers that were published, peer-reviewed, and can be actually used in different contexts by scientists and other technical people. We carry out um, um, forest monitoring to see that the, the activities within the scope of the management plan is being, is being respected, to see that there is no illegal uh, uh, hunting going on in the forest, to see that there is no illegal um, uh, sawing of timber, and also to monitor the extent of uh, farm encroachment within the community forest. We are actually regenerating a forest to be used as community forest for the entire backing of the community. Now the over 85,000 hectares of forested land of Cameroon are under the best care from 29 fully functional and sustainable Dryad funded CFEs with 487 new jobs created where women occupy 225 of those job slots. Even better, the Dryad-funded CFEs have increased the number of enterprises that help bring in 50% more income. Dryad was just what the doctor ordered for CFEs in Cameroon. Ça a réjoui le taux de chômage beaucoup. Puisque quand il faut décortiquer, on recrute les femmes. Beaucoup de femmes viennent prendre. Mm -hmm. Et on donne de l'argent. Je trouve ça efficace. Puisqu'on paie l'école de nos enfants, on n'a pas les difficultés pendant la période du Njansan. Même si l'enfant tombe malade, tu l'amènes à l'hôpital sans demander l'avis de qui que ce soit. 
même les petits achats, les habits, les chaussures, les machins, le village bouge quand il y a l'onjansan. L'onjansan a beaucoup changé la vie des femmes dans ce village. Barking il est youth and different class of, of persons have been able to have petit jobs and some gain employment like myself. I talked of the, the, the secretary accountant, the stores accountant, the fee manager, which we have in place under monthly salary. It has helped us a lot. The drought activities were, you know, sequenced in a number of phases. So in the first phase we had we had building the partnerships that were required because we 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 had conceived it between TMP systems and eCraft and we needed to recruit appropriate implementing organizations at the local level. So we, we hired uh, and selected some local implementing organizations. This criteria actually included, one, the legal policy. It must be a legal organization recognized by Cameroon, being either being an association or an NGO. Two, they must have the capacity in terms of for uh, forestry, um, uh, community forest, uh, experience with community forest, uh, experience with participatory processes and they must have basic um, um, administrative procedures to be able to manage the resources that had to uh, come with them. So they will, they will also look at the human capacity. If they had the technical uh, skills or, or, or manpower to be able to, to, to support the community forest enterprises. The first thing is that we, we hit about 29 functional enterprises at the end of the project on a target of 30, delivered 500 permanent jobs in these communities where we were working. These jobs were delivering a value of almost $30,000 in revenues to these families every year from the project, from income, revenues that they were earning from the job. COVID-19 has been a dramatic situation in the communities where you, you, you could see a thousand of tons of, of plantains just getting roasted because there is no way to go to the market. The lockdown came just when they were uh, uh, about to sell their product. In Bopo, for, for example, there are almost two million francs CFA uh, saved in their account. If we didn't have this COVID-19, I'm sure that that fever would have been doubled. Ce projet est venu un peu bousculer les lignes. Quelque chose a changé. Ça a changé comment? Nous trouvons les femmes qui sont coordonnatrices d'une entreprise. Et les coordonnatrices, ça veut dire quoi? Peut-être avant, elles ne touchaient pas peut-être un million. Maintenant, la femme fait les besoins. Elle vient, quand on valide ce besoin, elle se rend à la banque et retire peut-être 1,5 million pour aller exécuter les besoins. Ça, c'est quelque chose de fondamental. Ça a quelque chose, c'est une avancée. L'Ondiansan a beaucoup changé la vie des femmes dans ce village. Il y a les ustensiles, il y a les habits, il y a les chaussures, il y a les enfants, il y a l'école. Parce que même celle qui ne peut pas payer l'école de son enfant, le moment de Jansan, elle va faire les mains et les pieds et payer son école. The initiative has created a very good feeling of ownership. This is our enterprise. We have to sustain it. We have to develop it. And it should be bigger and bigger and bigger, prosperous and prosperous and prosperous. Community forests can actually uh, provide benefits to the communities while also um, protecting the forest or at least giving environmental services. So I think uh, it's, uh, we are very proud that we were uh, able to demonstrate that and we were able to collect a lot of um, information that um, uh, backs up that that statement. So we're really uh, happy and um, we know also that some of the partners and the stakeholders in Cameroon and notably also some people from the ministry now are uh, convinced 
that uh, this model or this uh, concept can work. But what we would like to see is documenting this further, testing this model in other places. In Kenya, for instance, where community forests exist, we are trying to see if we can test that in the Gambia. We are trying to see if we can test that in Benin, in other contexts, and replicate this so that this model is actually driving going forward, you know, forest conservation, for the benefit of climate change, for the benefit of livelihoods, you know, and the local economies of, of communities around the world. <laughs>